All right, so this will be the first episode, introductory episode of my, what I hope to be a long playthrough of the Apotheosis mod list, uh, version 1.3 as of recording. Uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to playing this list. I tend to play uh, my characters pretty, uh, I, I tend to roleplay, you know, quite a lot. Uh, but it might not be as easy because this list is focused primarily on third-person combat. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'll probably not, uh, you know, take it as seriously or be as in character for the most part. Uh, but I'll still be making decisions based on what my character would do, not necessarily what is uh, most effective or what I know to be the most effective method. You know, I'll just do what my character would do. And uh, real quick about my character, uh, his name is Stargell. He is a red guard uh, from Hammerfell. He was born to a North father and a red guard mother. Both uh, skilled in metallurgy and blacksmithing. So he picked that up naturally by watching them. Uh, his father recently passed away, so he's come to Skyrim to learn more about his culture and his homeland and hopefully protect uh, the citizens that his father, you know, cared about and respected. Little does he know, he's actually the Dragonborn, the Dragon of the North, Izmir, Dovahkiin, what have you. Uh, we're using Skyrim Unbound, so the intro quests won't be the same. After a couple of weeks, I believe dragons will just start spawning. And I guess we'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, but I'm really excited to start. I've been meaning to start for a while, so let me just, let's just get right into it. Now this list is not easy. So I am likely going to die, specifically because I have only uh, clothes. Oh. Most denizens of Temri are religious. You may choose to follow a deity, receiving a minor blessing, and learning about their sacred tenets. Alright. So, uh, I believe Lecky is... Uh, the Hunding, Tallpapa, Satakal. I actually did a lot of research a couple of weeks ago on, kind of, you know, Redguard and Ragata and Yokudin culture, and I've forgotten nearly all of it. Uh, but we're gonna follow the Hunding right now, which I believe is the Makeway God and the God against Infidels. Uh, basically, he's the god that the Red Guard turned to when they need to uh, overcome great adversity. Uh, like when they lost their home continent of Yakuda and had to take over Hammerfell. Uh, you know, with, with no other options left. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to pick this and then we're going to try to live. Oh look! Perseverance over Infidels. Yeah, see, I read. Red Guards to make way for their people. Weaken the armor of your opponent by staggering them. That's going to be really helpful. Slay your open, mortal co open combat. Especially those stronger than you. Those skilled and one-handed are most deserving of the favor. So I will be using heavy armor and one-handed and uh, a shield. There will be no magic. Uh, so we'll have to get lucky and find potions or haggle for potions or do what we can to get those. So I'm likely going to die right here. Just letting you guys know. I haven't played this list yet. I've only you know seen videos of it. So this will be fun. Over. Okay, and we're going to run. We're going to run because there are goblins. I, oh, no. No, no, no. I can't see. It's very dark. And I believe the dark cache hasn't loaded yet, so I'm just floating. Okay, this is going pretty well. Oh, no. Okay, let's just see where we are. Right, so we just crossed the border uh, from Hammerfell to Skyrim. I'm going to set a marker for Falkreath, and we're just gonna we're just gonna try and get there. I'm going to go in first person, so we don't see the. <sighs> oh no! I believe that's a Minotaur, uh, the progeny of Mara House, uh, Alicia's uh, husband, and the son of Kine, uh, you know, but uh, they're not quite as civilized as they once were. Let's just go. I I am I, I, I really like the lore of this universe in this game. I don't I don't know as much as I'd like to, uh, but I will be, you know, referencing it and talking about it. Do I have a torch? I do not have a torch. Okay, I believe we're safe for now. I am so sorry. I know this is going to be incredibly dark uh, in the game. I guess we came to Skyrim at night. I don't know if, you know, we would travel at night. Honestly. Uh, I, I guess Stargell just made a rash, rash decision. 
I believe there's a lot less fast travel using these posts, uh, and I generally don't like fast travel, but it is incredibly dark, so I'm going I'm going to do that. Oh, it's only if I've discovered the location. Okay, well, we're just gonna follow these lampposts and hope we get to is this Falk Wreath. This game is very dark. Hello? Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. Okay, cool. They seem to be welcoming of uh, strangers and visitors. It is so dark. I might have to adjust that. Uh, because the EMB is very dark. Dead man's strength. Okay, let's go in here. I'm telling you. I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Hmm. Okay, so it's been more than 15 to 30 seconds and my cache is still not loading. So... Off to a great start, but I'm gonna have to stop the recording to troubleshoot. Oh wait! Okay, I believe it's fixed. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, so we... How much gold do we have? 91 gold. I believe that should be enough to rent a uh, room for the night so we can start, you know, the proper adventure in the morning. As for the goals of this list or this character, I don't really have any... I, I have a couple of quest lines that I for sure want to do in this list. Uh, but I'm just kind of play, gonna play it by ear and as it goes. So let's see if we can get a room here. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. <laughs> I, I guess we don't have enough. I, I'd like to rent a room, please. What does this look like? The Temple of Mara? No gold, no bed. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, maybe we can sell something uh, to her. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Um... Okay. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. So, so far, not off to a great start. We have no gold. Or not enough gold to rent a room. It is raining, it is dark, and we are... Uh, the, the night is long and full of terrors. So, what we're gonna do... We might just sit down and rest our head <laughs> against this uh, table. And wait for morning. And then uh, pick up some work to try and make some gold. Wow. Alright, well... We're just going to hang out here for 11 hours. That's a little better. Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Oh, yes. Evening, Sarah. I don't actually know what Sarah means. I should probably look into it before I start incorporating it into my, uh, role-playing, but, uh, Yes, of course. Uh, how can I help you? Are you trying to flirt with? Are you trying to flirt with me? Flirt? Uh, no, I. That wasn't my intention. Not at all. I just meant I have a proposition for you. That that doesn't that does. I don't know how you guys do it here in Skyrim, but that does sound like flirting to me. No, not that kind of proposition. I, I meant I'd like to do business with you. Uh, not like that. No. Can we start again? I, yes, I would ac actually love that. Uh, how can I help you? What, what is your name? Oh, thank the divines. Right, let's have another go. <clears throat> My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more the hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savory side of Skyrim? Uh, not with Skyrim, I actually just got in to this uh, con continent? Province? I actually just crossed the border from Hammerfell, uh, but I have seen a thing or two in my travels. Why, is there something you need? Star Stargell is, you know, he's uh, he's this classic, lawful good uh, hero. He, he will help out if he can. He, he has the ability to, and therefore he sees that he has, he sees it as he has a responsibility to help if he can. 
So, uh, if do you need help with anything, Lucian? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, please go on. What did you have in mind? I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. Uh, interesting. How how much exactly are we talking here? How, how many septums? Oh, shall we say 300 septums up front? Three. After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations. Save that you take me with you, and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Hmm. Well, traveling has been lonely as of late. Uh, I see no reason to say no, and I could really use the money, so... Let's do it, Lucy, and you and me, partners for now. Oh, splendid. Here's your goal. Oh, this is going gods. to be quite the adventure. I am Stargal Cesar, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sakesh. Lead on. Not... not what I... Okay, you know what? That's okay. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Hmm. A jewel. Alrighty. So let's see here. I've never played with Sunhelm. And I've never played with some of the mods that this uh, list has installed. So there will be a lot of me checking menus and stuff. I'll try to edit all that out. Uh, but right now we're going to see if we can pick up any work. And then we're going to see if we can get some armor. Uh, because these clothes are not... Great. For fighting. They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. Mages in a burial crypt. No good can come of that. Doesn't seem like she uh, has any information on bounties or anything. Good day. Okay. What about you? Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Thank you. A hundred gold for a night. Skyrim is steep. Uh... Well met, I am looking for work. Do you have any leads? Maybe some bounties I can do? Hopefully not... Nothing too crazy. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Let's see here. By order of Sidgear. To all able-bodied men and women of Falkreath. The bandit located in Bannermist Tower. The bandits located in Bannermist Tower have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and victims and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Bandits. Well, I'm glad I picked up Lucian. Thank you. Um, okay. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty. So we can't check out the local blacksmith. I doubt a hundred or three hundred septums is going to be enough to pay for some armor, but it doesn't hurt to check. And we'll be wary of the road south because there are indeed some scary creatures. Ah, a lot. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first and the Empire second. Hmm. It sounds like loyalty is important to you. I was Dengear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an old? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Now see, these are the kind of things that Stargell wanted to learn about Nord culture, like what they value. Uh, because his father, you know, could only offer so much uh, before his death. Uh, so that's that's really cool to hear that uh, that's what Nord's value, honor, and, and trust above all else. Let's see here. 
Doesn't seem like I can ask to use this forge, so I'm just gonna assume I can use it. Do you have anything for sale, my friend? Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Ideally both. Would like at least a chest piece. Steel helmet. 475 gold. Gods. Iron armor with pauldron. 760 gold. We are going to have to be very careful. Studded armor, 285. We might have to just roll with light armor for now. It's better than nothing. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Do that. Let's see if we can sort my value here. Yeah, it's studded armor is the best we're gonna best deal we're gonna get. All right, well, I'll take it. Get my forge if you need arms or armor. I appreciate it. I don't really have any materials with which to work right now, but oh, someone just disappeared. So this list is, you know, an ongoing development. It is version 1.3. Uh, there's still a lot that's being worked on, uh, but it's been noted as stable and, you know, fully playable. So what we're gonna do? Find a bed to sleep in. Well, I, I would love to. Fortunately, we can't really afford it right now. Oh, it's a missives. Perfect. Might be able to find a slightly easier quest here. Little Vivek. Gather elves' ears. Hunt thief in Whiterun. Vampire. Banner Mist Tower. Uh, I wonder if we'll get double the reward. That'd be kind of cheating. I'm gonna just assume we already have that. Not really anything. Dark Water Crossing. Oh! Where is that exactly? It is not showing on map. And uh, let me know if I need to turn the music down or anything. Let's seem a tad loud. But it's also incredibly catchy, so... I'm gonna turn that a little bit down. I already turned it a little bit down, but I'm still gonna turn it just a little bit more down. It's also my first time using Nordic UI, so that's really cool. The compass mod is also very cool. I tend to play with the compass off, but you know... It's cool to see. Killer capture the bandit leader. Alright, well, Lucian, you with me? Let's go. Right, so being from Hammerfell, uh, I expect Stargell has a deep uh, hatred and distrust of the Thalmor. After the Empire uh, signed the White Gold Concordant, Hammerfell continued to fight independently. And I believe they actually held off the uh, Dominion and established a the Second Treaty of Stros Mackay. Uh, so they were able to remain completely independent, although they did lose, I believe they lost a city to the, uh, Dominion, so. Real quick, I'm gonna check my frame rate, because it feels like I'm getting some drops. Yeah. 40. So I have a 3700, 3700, an RTX 3070. Uh, but my CPU is not the best, so that's probably what that is. Uh, in case someone's watching this to be to know uh, whether or not they can run the list, uh, my specs are the yeah like I said the RTX 3070 and the Ryzen 5 3600 with a teeny tiny overclock. I suppose I should probably practice with the sword, just to see how combos feel. Oh yeah. I believe those are elk. Those are definitely elk and not the screeching sounds of tormented animals. Lathry's kid. Hmm. Is there anyone here? Ooh, we could we, we could do with some wolf pelts. That's our pot. Red apple, take that. We need. Because we will be playing this with survival mode. Oh, you must be the owner of this camp. I'm sorry that I just took your stuff. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. 
This cannot be how I die. Alright, well, that was close. Let's keep an eye out for traps, because clearly this hunter has set some. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Oh, no. Sakesh, no! Well, the first death's always the funniest. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't... I believe that's a mod that uh, recently came out where uh, fires, campfires and stuff hurt you. I'm not used to that, and I'm not used to the radius. So, uh... A bit embarrassing, but <laughs> we will... We will persevere. That's funny. I wonder who that is. They seem like a wood elf. I know Ari is around here, and I will want to pick her up. I've never played with her, or uh, traveled with her in the past. Do you hear something? <laughs> I suddenly heard boss music, and I got really nervous. Uh, because we are quite fragile right now. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Oh dear. Alright, well this will be something I have to look into. Bear with me one moment. Alright, I seem to have rectified the issue with a little help from the modless curator. Uh, so shout out to Aljo. If you're seeing this, fuck you for the troll link. And let's keep, keep on going. Alright. So we might see some frame drops here just because my CPU isn't the best, like I said. But uh, I believe last time we left off, we were on our way to kill some bandits. Kill or capture the bandit later. Actually, do I don't mind this uh, this compass mod. Like I said, I usually play it with with I usually play the game with the compass off. But for the times that I do have it on, it's good to remember what objective I'm looking at at the moment. And I don't believe we're going to run into... Actually, here it is. I'm going to do a quick save here. In case I run into a uh, fire again. Those are very loud. I might actually have to turn down the whole game because it is a little hard for me to hear myself. And I'm just wanting to... We won't take the wolf meat now that I know it's his. Uh, Stargell is not... My lord. Okay. The game here in Skyrim is very loud. Glathriel. Hello. Yes. Oh. Uh, well met. I am Stargell Cesar. I come in peace and wish to speak. Alright. Um, what are you doing out here in the wilderness? I'm making camp. That I can see that. Do you do you live here? No. I didn't intend to anyway. Do you okay. <laughs> do you get many travelers in this these parts? None that bothered to stop. Although there was that Nord from Riften who spent the night. This is a, according to my maps anyway, this is a long way from Riften. True. And he'd been traveling for a long time. But men like that always have character. Huh. Any good stories? He did. But I'm warning you, you won't like how I tell it. I'm... <laughs> Lucian, please. I am conversing with a creature of the Elden Root. I am sure you'll tell it just fine. Okay, okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. The tale I remember best was about his adventure in the Reach. One night it was very dark and cold and he was frightened. Then, when he felt all was lost, a voice shouted out, The blood's all below your waist! No. Uh... Wait. 
<laughs> that part comes later? Ifri's bones. I really messed it up, didn't I? I... <laughs> I I've, I've, I've heard worse, truly. That was enjoyable. Somehow I doubt that. But, thanks. Okay, well, uh, well met, uh, Sarah. Which is an honorific. It's kind of like saying sir. Safe travels. There's also Sergio, which I believe is for kings or nobles. And let's be wary. Cleared. Let's say I cleared it. But okay. Let's be wary of uh, traps. Oh wow. That is beautiful. I think I will, I'll tend to explore and converse in the first person, uh, but in combat I will definitely, definitely be switching to third person just because that's kind of the way the list was meant to be played and that's the, the reason I I'm installed it. I hear breathing. Oh, we got a little contextual Oh my crap. You know, we could use the food and I could use the practice with my sword arm, so we're actually gonna go for that. Come on then. Oh f oh no, okay, so I'm still learning the key bites. Wow, that almost killed me. This is gonna be very embarrassing. Oh no. It's still so I'm still not getting the uh... Ow. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry Lucian. Wow that almost killed me. So I'm not quite the uh, swordsman that I want to be but you know it's a work in progress. So, uh, he doesn't know any magic, Sargell, and he doesn't know any... Ooh. Any alchemy. De Rerum Derenis. I'm talking about Bretons? Oh, I need whatever mod this is in my other list. Wow. I am 611 years old. I'm gonna take this. Up. You okay? Oh, is this over? Did we win? I believe. No, not again. It's this damn fire. This is so embarrassing. Uh, please, no. Okay. Well, this is how we fare against mud crabs. It's gonna be interesting. I have no healing. If I eat raw mud crab legs, I will catch food poisoning. So this might be a doomed mission, but maybe we will just avoid getting hit. So let's see here. Oh, I don't intend to sneak. All right, Please. let's just do this. Now, go on. You no. dare challenge no. a child of a Malakath. No, You'll regret it. No. Oh! Aggressive. Beg for your miserable life. All right, come on. Here, but I was just I'll wondering. gut you like a horker! Not trying to murder me. Ah. Can, can we discuss this? I cannot best you! Lucky you! Tell you what, uh. you start running so I can stab you in the That's back. That's the best you can do! Oh, yep. No. Alrighty. So let's try this again. Try killing the mud crabs one more time. Oh no! 
Nope. All right. Well, I didn't see those before, and we are definitely not equipped to tangle with them. We might not even be equipped to tangle with the bandits. So let's see what we can do here. Come on then. My God. There it is. Oof. Boy, oh boy. Well, in my defense, it's hard to see the animations for those. Uh, yeah, this list is not messing around. You will die often, but you know, that's okay because sucking at something is the first step at being kind of good at something. I know because I am on that step for a lot of things. All right, so we're going to try that again, and we're going to try this as many times as I have the patience for, and I will cut out. Oh. What, what are you doing? Courier? Oh no. What? Oh no, 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 no. no. Nope. No, Lucian. That's not a fight we can win. And I'm on fire. Yeah, it's, it's like I did it on purpose. That's incredible. At least he has a decency to not kill me from fire. Alright, we can do this. We can definitely do this. Perhaps we can lure the Spriggans into the bandits. Say, so, I'm not just a fighter. I'm a strategist. Oh, this is not how the list was meant to be played. I am so sorry. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Lucian. No! What? Okay. Hey. Yep. Nope. All right, we've managed to make it to the other side, away from the Spriggans. The bandits are up ahead. Let's try this again. All right. <clears throat> Jarl Sid Geard has put out a bounty on your lives. Come out and surrender. Or prepare to meet your, uh, your makers. Yeah, there it is. My speech isn't that high right now. Huh? Uh, I'm not one to strike a man while he's getting up. Time to end this. Uh, wait, victory is uh, uh, I believe he might have been surrendering. Which is a bummer. Oh my god, Lucian. Oh man. There it is. Okay. Alright. Whew. How we feeling, Lucian? Well... Hmm... Stargill feels conflicted over killing a surrendering man. But also the man was a bandit who burned, pillaged, and berated and attacked innocent bystanders and uh, travelers. So I'm not that conflicted. 
I will take your head, however, as proof of the deed done. Excellent. Oh, they got some gold. I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm not a... I'm not obsessed with gold, but man, you, you need it sometimes. For sure. Scrapped Draugr boots. And the pike. Ah, thank God, it's a shield. A rapier. So I like to believe that he's, uh, he's good with many weapons, uh, but he's mostly prefers sword and board. Oh, bow. We will need that. And we will take all of the food we can get, because we will need that too. Gold. These are from Legacy of the Dragonborn. I have never understood them. I'm going to collect them, but I know, I know not what they do, and I don't understand their description. Create a set of basic enchanted items. Robe, circlet, boots, instruction staff. Oh, that's interesting. So scrolls might be a thing we can use uh, as a non-magic user. They might prove really useful in uh, difficult situations. So we'll keep an eye out for scrolls. Potion. All of this we could sell back. Alright. <clears throat> you have found a fate card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type. When you possess at least one of each card of the type and use any of the cards from the set in your inventory, one of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide a special power. Yeah, see, it's very, it's very, it's a lot. It's a lot, and I'm I don't like trading cards. Oh wow, that's that is the lands of your father, Stargell. Violent and dangerous, but there is a beauty to them. But mostly violent and dangerous. Like wow, wow, very violent. All right. I do wonder if Lucian has anything to say. I also wonder if I have a light. I do not. Lucian, come out of the shadows. Let us relieve these bandits of their ill-gotten gains. That they might be put to some use. Some good use. Oh, lords. There we go. Wooden plate. Some gold, some oh gems. Now he is, like I said, he does uh, know his way around the smithy. Oh yes, this is exactly what we need. That's gonna help a lot. That is much more his uh, his speed. It's a little dark. I need I need a torch. I need a torch. I don't believe there's anything here though. There's not. So let's just uh. Uh oh. Why is my shield... Whoa, what? Do I sense danger? I would like to check out the move sets in some of these. But uh, let's get back to town. Maybe we can find a clearing to test out some of these weapons. I'm gonna drop a quick save because... This is, this, this, this is an unforgiving... Mode. Oh, wow. Very impressive. Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I'm... I'm so sorry. Once I get going, you know, I'm, I'm... I apologize for that. Yes. And let's try out the... Let's try out dual daggers. Not really how I envisioned Stargirl fighting, but... We make use of what tools we have, and these might be close. These might be uh, more useful in cramped interiors. What's a power attack look like? Oh. Well. And finally, let's try out the pike. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Let's see that again. Let's see that again, Stargirl. A little flourish. Oh. Oh no. Okay. I might be a two-hander. That is... That is... Extremely... Extremely badass. What's in my hand? Oh, that's just the potion. Okay. Alright. Well, we're uh, running behind. Let's get back to town. 
Hopefully not run into any of the Spriggans. He said. Cautiously optimistic that he wouldn't in fact run into any of the Spriggans. I believe we're safe for now. And if we see any game, we might be able to... Uh, you know, hunt it with some arrows. Because we do have that. And we could use the leather to uh, craft up maybe a backpack, uh, perhaps a cloak to protect us from the elements. Oh, this is exactly what I meant. Let's see. Don't believe they've seen this yet. They have seen us. Not like this. Oh no. Oh wow. You are very strong. Nothing if not curious. What have we here? An abandoned Imperial Tower? Wait. Let's say... Spriggan Head. This is probably a bad idea. manner of <laughs> necromancer <laughs> against an unarmored opponent these tools are deadly so the red guards uh, didn't run into any necromancy on Yokuda back when they were the regatta or the Yakudans sorry the Yakudans not the regatta Red Guards and Regatta, I believe, are interchangeable. It's just a bastardization of the actual term, Regatta. Yokudans are their ancestor race. And uh, they never run into any Necromancers. Uh, they only saw them, I believe, when they came to Tamriel. Now, again, I read all of this weeks ago, so I may be a little rusty. If I get any of this wrong, I'll, I'll address it <laughs> next episode. But uh, a healing spell. Maybe. Maybe. This list is... It's not fucking around, so maybe. Uh, but overall, I don't believe he's, you know... Magically inclined. That is too... <laughs> it's, it's, it's just too cool. It's just too cool. Uh, but we are a little low on septum, so we will take what we can to sell back there. A staff. A nice crystal that shatters for 15 frost damage to health and stamina. Direct hits bypass. Wow. Yeah, maybe I'll make a mage next. Alright, so bear with me. Let's see what this looks like. Yep, I'm keeping that. I am keeping that. Alright, so the Red Guards and Necromancy, they are forbidden from violating their dead. Uh, which means when Necromancers do use uh, the Red Guards, uh, you know, undead uh, family members or kinship or what have you, you know, the undead members of that group, they are not able to fight them because that would be defiling their dead. And they see that as incredibly, incredibly, you know, profane and against everything they stand for. So uh, it be, it's a difficult situation when the Necromancer does appear uh, as a foe against the Regatta. 
what they've had to do is I believe there is a a section or a group of them that despite their you know intolerance and hatred of the act of defiling bodies they take it upon themselves to uh, smite down the necromancers and their thralls uh, even though they believe it you know brings great dishonor on them and even though it ostracizes them from the rest of the of the red guards uh, they're not allowed in cities and uh, you know they're treated very very poorly by both the crowns and the forebears uh, which are the two major political groups of red guards right now I believe so yeah uh, necromancy tough tough thing the way I will get around some of the hard <laughs> roleplay limits of playing such a strict race is that he is half Nord and they were raised very close to the border in a very metropolitan area of Hammerfell at least that's why I'm making up on the spot uh, so he is not you know he's not super duper he's not like a red guards red guard you know like he sure he believes you know obviously necromancy is evil and he shouldn't defile the dead but he's not above doing what he has to do to protect himself so and i think i'm gonna end it here on this just incredible beautiful shot of the mountains of skyrim and the forests of falkreath hold behold where yaltel early beard earned his name, the man who would eventually go on to become, you know, Tiber Septum. And the land of Stargale's father. I am very excited to continue this playthrough. I am very excited to play this list, even though it's been off <laughs> it's been a rocky start so far. This is this is amazing. I am I am in awe. It looks amazing. And uh, if anyone watched this, I appreciate it. Because I don't I mean Yeah. This is this is mostly for me to look back on. But uh, if anybody did watch this, thank you so much and let me know. Okay. Until next time.